Hello everyone, my name is Mimi79. Today I've got a guide on how to get faster in the Group 2 cars. So these cars come up about once every six weeks, so hopefully this video will help you and quickly just before we get into it, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done already and also feel free to join my Discord server in the description below. But first let's get into the 2016 Nissan GTR then, so it's got 612 brake horsepower and it weighs just over a ton at 1020 kilograms. It's a front engine car but it's with rear wheel drive hence why it's called FR and it's very stable and it does have very good acceleration. So now moving on to the Raybrick NSX then, the only mid-engine car out of the 2016 cars. It has 603 brake horsepower, so slightly less than the Nissan. It weighs 1,049 kilograms, so it weighs slightly more. Obviously, it's mid-engine, so it's going to be an MR, and it is very oversteery, but has lots of front-end grip. And now moving on to the Lexus, there's 614 horsepower, so slightly more than the GTR and the NSX. And it weighs 1,020 kilograms, so the same as the GTR. It's a front-engine car and is very stable like the GTR and is also quite good in the high speed corners so a track like Maggiore where there are quite a few of them you should be good to go but now moving on to the 2008 cars this is the Zanavi Nismo GTR then it's got 612 brake horsepower and it weighs at 1100 kilograms it's, an, it's a front edged car and it's very stable and it's got quite good top speed however it has been nerfed so it isn't as good as it used to be because it used to be topping the time sheets but now the Epson NSX then so this is a it's probably the worst car in group 2 you should try and avoid this but it has 597 horsepower it weighs 1115 kilograms it's a mid-engine car and it is quite oversteery but it also does have good top speed so it's a very good car for a track like Le Mans for example so you should see that car quite good there but now the Lexus the 2008 version it has 630 horsepower which is the most out of any group 2 car it's 1100 kilograms it's a front engine car and it's very stable and it's also quite easy to drive so it's quite beginner friendly also quite good in a straight line so that should help you but now moving on to the lap time then so as you saw in the thumbnail I managed to get down from 142.1 to 141.9 but this is my first lap so into the first corner then just carrying a bit too much speed into the first or into the entry there I think so that definitely cost me time and then into the kind of double left just really make sure that you get on the power as early as possible running a little bit wide there you can't afford to do that but our first sector is a 25.0 which definitely could have been a 24.9 if uh, if I didn't mess up sector one or the first corner so into that big banky boy then breaking just before the end of the yellow curb on the right hand side and really getting the car to rotate you kind of have to in this car because it is it has got very good front end so you can reach up the car in and it won't really oversteer and then through here absolutely flying just really being committed and then using a bit of the grass on the left hand side and then into the hairpin then just trying to keep the car as stable as possible this is something that you can do in the 2016 GTR can really push the limits and the same pretty much applies for the Lexus as well because they both use the same engine so they should roughly translate in terms of handling and in fact one thing you can also do is if one car is the same powertrain as another in this category chances are they'll handle quite similarly but we're just going to go over the hairpin again because this is the, something that a lot of people struggle with and it's traction so as you can see that just waiting to get on the power we've got to be patient especially with so much uh, horsepower in the engine and just using a little bit of the grass on the exit and slowed me down just a little bit but it's going to be a 142.120 so pretty good lap time as it is 
but I want to go quicker. I know that I can get a 41, because that lap wasn't so good. I went quicker than it on many occasions, but this is uh, a 141.9, and as you can see here, already much better into turn one, getting better entry speed and exit speed, so a lot better through there, and then into turn number two, really clipping the apex quite nicely, and then through turn three, definitely could have powered out a little bit later, so maybe lost a quarter of a tenth or something like that. But it's going to be at 25.007 in the first sector, so a quarter of a tenth up on our sector one on the previous lap. And then into the big banky boy, really chucking it in there. But I'm just going to go over it again very quickly because, as you can see here, I don't use much curb. I prioritize the exit so I don't really attack the inside as it does slow you down. But as we head towards the second sector split, it's just crucial that you stick to the right hand side so that you can get the best exit or the best entry to the S section, which is very tricky. But just here, going uh, all four wheels beyond the white line on the left hand side and really throwing the car in there and not using as much grass as on the previous lap but I think we definitely got that a lot better and then through the hairpin then it's we are going to be about a tenth up on our 42.1 so all we really need to do is just nail this final sector and we've got a good lap so just really being patient on that left hand is very tricky to get right because you're going uphill on the apex but then into the hairpin then go really aggressively and then just getting a bit of oversteer there but as we go out of the final corner we're just going to go over the hairpin like we did on the previous lap just making sure that I try get uh, the best possible exit out there because you immediately follow up hairpin with the right hander which is the final corner obviously and then just keeping it to the left hand side all the way to the line it's going to be a 141.915 and I was pretty pleased with that, but we're going to look at the lap that was set by Tunable Coyote in the Ray Brig NSX, which is generally the best competitor for the Nissan GTR. And you'll see some pretty stark differences as to how he drives it, because obviously it's a different powertrain. So as you can see there, he's a lot more uh, he's a lot more gentle on the throttle, whereas in the GTR you can just kind of mash it and it will... Uh, it won't oversteer. In the NSX you've got to be a lot more careful. So as you can see there, just upshifts really early, mid apex, which could be lethal in some circumstances, but it does work really well in the NSX because it's a mid-engine car and you need all the st stability you can get. So this is a really important corner, the hairpin. And we'll just go over that again because it's quite important because this is where he gained a lot of time on me. He just really chucks the car in there and he quickly upshifts to third. And in fact, that was a pretty much perfect hairpin from him. So he was about 0.04 down on us going into the second sector and he's just gone quicker than us then. So into the third sector then, he's really attacking and you can do with the NSX as it has a lot of front end grip as you would expect with a mid engine car it does it is quite light at the front so you can really uh, just throw the car in and he's almost two tenths up there on our third sector split so he definitely gained a lot there presumably in the fast left hander but then through the final sector there it's just really important to keep the car stable especially through the hairpin it keeps the brake on for a really long time and then just mashes the throttle and he gets a pretty good exit but again we're just gonna analyze it a bit more because again traction is where I think most people struggle with in group 2 cars so as you can see there he just really attacks the throttle and he catches the slide and then through the final corner again he, a he powers out just after the apex and that is going to gain him a lot of time and it's, he's going to do a 141.4 which is just incredible especially in a car that is underpowered is a very very good lap but if this was helpful leave a like and subscribe turn on post notifications I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year so if you could click that subscribe button that would be very much appreciated 
and don't forget to join my Discord server if you want to. But take care everyone and goodbye.